All right, we're back. We continue our Miami Herald National Signing Day preview show. I'm here joined by Charles Fishbein and I'm David Ferronis. Uh, now let's focus on the state colleges preview. Um, we'll talk about some FSU, some UF, uh, the other state schools. Um, we'll start with FSU because they do have the third ranked class nationally according to 24-7 Sports. Uh, first, let's get to some of their early enrollees. Uh, you have a quarterback like Malik Henry. Um, he was an Under Armour All-American, looks really good in the pocket. Um, and then some, some other guys that people will know, obviously, Ricky Aguayu, uh, FSU fans recognize the last name, the kicker, Andrew Baselli, kid of, uh, son of uh, uh, Tony Baselli. Um, tell me about these early enroll enrollees. Who do you really like out of this group? The one guy I really like is Malik Henry. Uh, he's one of the top two, two to three quarterbacks, in my opinion, in the country. Uh, he's a guy that uh, uh, went to IMG, went back out to California, has pretty good size, about 6'2", six, 6'3". The one thing I really like about him is anticipation. I think that's overlooked in, in quarterbacks, even at the high school level. Being able to throw receivers open, he's got a very accurate arm. You, you've seen the guys that are, do very well in the NFL even. You have to have that accuracy, and that's his strength. Yeah, Janarius Robinson, Cedric Wood, Josh Brown, some defenders that are already there that can really make an impact, four-star kids. Um, we look at the guys that are committed, and um, they have several from down here. I mean, you look at the list, uh, Jamel Cook, Amir Rasul is committed currently, uh, Emmett Rice from New Orleans. Uh, who do you like out of that group and anyone else from their commitment list? You know, the one guy that's grown on me over the last year is Emmett Rice. I got a chance to see him in the Dave Brower game. Uh, he's, he's one of those guys. I thought last year he was a good player. I didn't know if he was a take at Florida State. Uh, he had a great senior year. He was very physical. You go and watch him. He has that one trait that all guys in Dade County are known for, and that's speed. The kid can really run sideline to sideline. He's an impact player in the Dade Broward game. I believe he either had an interception or a fumble, which he almost took back for a touchdown. Had a big hit, had a couple sacks, tackle for a loss. I think Emmett Rice is the one player from down here that they got that's been under the radar, but I think he will make an impact right away in college. The Gators are not far behind in the rankings, ranked number six right now according to 24-7 Sports. Um, Chauncey Gardner already there, enrolled early. Uh, Felipe Franks, the quarterback yep. that we saw at State uh, while we were over there. Uh, what do you think of these guys? Anyone else from the early? Enrollees? Well, Cha Chauncey Gardner is a guy that we've had a chance, to, especially all the guys down here in Dade County the last three years, they've played Booker T. Uh, Chauncey was a guy that made an impact as a sophomore. Uh, junior year, he was even better. Um, he's one of the top corners, uh, right behind Trayvon Mullen. I have him rated number two in the state. He's a long, athletic kid. He's not afraid to go against some of the top receivers in the state or the country even, match up against them. He's a playmaker. I think he's an impact player at University of Florida. Yeah. What about a guy like Antonius Clayton, uh, Shavar Manuel? Um, not there yet, but, but committed. And these are guys that can really make an impact yeah. right away. Huh? Antonius Clayton, I think he was an Under Armour All-American. Uh, he's an impact player from Georgia, very similar to Dante Fowler, who played at University of Florida, ended up a first-round pick. He's a long, athletic defensive end. He's going to give them a speed rusher. They've lost a little of that the last couple of years, guys leaving early. Clayton's an impact type of player, probably play next year for them. Yeah, another guy that was an Under Armour All-American, Joshua Hammond, coming out of Hallandale. Um, UF also has commitments from Voshan Joseph at Norland. Uh, currently, C.J. McWilliams, although he's, he's kind of on the fence going into signing day uh, down at Southwest. Um, out of those local guys, uh, who do you really think will, will step in big time uh, for the Gators? The one guy that we didn't even mention there was Aaron Robinson. Aaron he was Robinson. another guy that I had a chance to see in the Dave Brower game. When you look at Trayvon, uh, Trayvon's considered the top corner prospect in Dayton Broward uh, this year. Aaron Robinson's not too far behind. He's a, a guy that didn't play last year as a junior, played this year. He's, he's a six foot one, long athletic corner with these teams playing more spread. He's a physical uh, type corner that can make, uh, move his receiver wherever he wants on the field. I think he's a guy that uh, for University of Florida is going to be an impact player as well. Yeah, FSU and UF also in the mix for a lot of top prospects going into signing day. Brian Burns is one of them. He's considering both. Um, who do you think uh, for either of these schools that they could add uh, on Wednesday? I think Brian Burns is a player that uh, both schools, Florida and Florida State, have a legit shot at. Uh, right now, Florida State's probably the leader for Burns after visits and everything. It, you never know in these situations anything can change over the next three days. Uh, the schools are going to still recruit these kids heavily till signing day. We've seen guys that on signing day are supposed to go somewhere and they end up signing with the other schools. So Burns is definitely one of those players that could, that could happen with. 
Uh, let's touch a little bit on the other state schools outside of UM and FIU. Um, UCF, USF, FAU, they all have prospects committed here. UCF has a few of them. Uh, USF has a guy like Darnell Solomon. Uh, FAU has some South Florida prospects as well, of course. Uh, who do you really like out of their class? Well, Darnell Solomon is definitely the player in USF's class. I think he's a power five type uh, receiver. He's a big uh, player. Big kid, probably about 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, he showed in the state game that he's a difficult matchup for any defense that they go against. You look at FAU, John Rain's a player I really, really like. Kind of a hybrid type of player. Uh, can play tight end, play, play fullback. He's played running back. He can even play defensive end or outside linebacker. I think FAU stole a player there. Um, and then you go to UCF. Jawan Hamilton, I think, is the most underrated player in not only uh, Dade County this year, but probably the state led Dade County in rushing. Uh, every time I saw him play, he was the one player that made the big plays for South Dade. Yeah, Juwan Hamilton, he was a Warren Henry uh, Miami Dade player of the year this year. Uh, ran behind a big offensive line. Bowman Swanson's another uh, guy committed to UCF. Uh, he can make an impact. Uh, for Charles Fishbein, I'm David Ferronis. That was your State Colleges preview for National Signing Day.